Hi, I'm Rod Dennis with Pinnacle Capital Mortgage Corporation. Today I would like to talk with you about lender credits and how to utilize those to reduce the cost of borrowing. I've written an article on my website, roddennis.com, in reference to lender credits and how to, how to look at those. Lender credits and discount points are all calculated as a percentage of a loan balance. For example, if we had a discount point of 1% of the loan balance, that'd be a $3,000 charge to get to that interest rate. Opposite of that is a lender credit. So as an interest rate rises, the lender will provide a credit. For example, if the lender had a credit of 1%, that would give a $3,000 negative, which could be used to pay closing expenses. Where there is no lender credit or discount points, that is called the par interest rate. In this example, I've shown an interest rate par of 4.375% where there's no discount points and no lender credit. As you'll see, as we reduce the interest rate of the transaction, the cost of borrowing that money increases. So, for example, at 4.8% on a $300,000 loan, which I'm using for this entire uh, example, uh, at the 4% and a 4.8%, the one and a quarter points being charged would be an additional expense of $3,750 over and above the charges for settlement cost. In this situation, there is, uh, in the lender credit situation, there is opposite of that monies that can actually be used to pay to reduce settlement charges. In this example, I've used the 4.625 throughout to show how, how to utilize that. So on this $300,000 transaction, 1.5% of the loan balance being used as a lender credit offers $4,500 as that credit in a uh, mathematical, in dollars. Now the next thing to ask is how can that lender credit be used? Lender credits can be used to pay any expenses on a settlement charge statement. So for example, all of these closing costs are allowed to be paid through the lender credit. In this situation, I have those totaling $3,000 on this $300,000 refinance transaction. In addition, we can also use that lender credit to pay for any of the prepaid items. So, for example, the daily interest, we can have that paid, the hazard insurance, and the property tax impounds. All of those items can be paid for through the lender credit. So in this example, if we had a purchase or a refinance transaction which had a $300,000 balance, we had settlement charges totaling from the prepaids and the closing cost of $4,470.21, we can use a lender credit that was available of $4,500 to cover that $4,470.21. Now I cannot provide the entire $4,500 in this situation in that the lender credit cannot be used towards anything else other than paying for expenses on a transaction. So in this instance, a $300,000 payoff with a $300,000 loan, the borrower would need no cash to close. To make sure I stay in compliance, I wanted to show that the transaction with a 4.625% calculates an annual percentage rate of 4.694%. The next thing to figure out on a lender credit is it's smart to use one. So in this particular situation, 4.25 was an option that we had above, which had a half a percent discount point, which totaled $1,500. Or we selected the 4.625% interest rate, which had a 1.5% credit, or $4,500. So the difference in interest rate is 0.375%. The difference in the payments is $66. The difference in the discount points is 2% or $6,000. Now to calculate the break-even point, simply divide the $6,000 of lower cost on the transaction by the $66 of, of higher payment and you'll see that you have 90 months breaking even. So in this particular example, the higher interest rate option has the lowest investment total cash investment into the property for an entire 90 months. Now over a 360 month transaction, 90 months is a relatively short term, so as you know the four and a quarter percent interest is going to save quite a bit more money over the term of the loan 
but in a lot of situations the upfront cash is the most important and therefore making the no fee transaction much more advantageous. Some disclaimers for this is that the pricing above is for example purposes only. This is not exact specific pricing based on today's pricing but is simply examples. Also rates and fees of course are subject to change without notice and rates today are certainly different than what I'm showing here but this is simply used for calculation to show how lender credits can be used. In a future blog post I'm going to take this further and show what the difference is in the long term between the two different programs. Uh, when is smart to choose a lender credit option? Uh, which one best fits a borrower's situation? And how can this help create greater wealth? And uh, all this will be continued in a further blog. Thanks for watching. Here's all my contact information and legal compliance information I'm required to disclose.